Okay, my name's Steve. Uh, I'm 54 years of age. I came, was born and bred in Cardiff, kept coming from a council estate in Lanrymney. Basically, I went to a Catholic school, Catholic church. Um, knew nothing about Christ, really, in the beginning. My life went downhill uh, from a young child, uh, always in and out of trouble. And then I led on into adulthood, then with, uh, with me serving five or six prison sentences and various other community-related orders. I wouldn't consider myself a pillar of the society at the time. Um, but things started to alter in 2007, if I could touch on that. In 2007, I received a 15-month prison sentence for defrauding the uh, Department of Social Security. From there, I felt a distinct change in my attitude towards um, my victims. I didn't realise they were victims of my crimes. I, I just found then that uh, I started to feel remorse for these people. I started to feel upset and guilty. I started to have a guilt complex about everything. And then uh, I was released from prison in, in 2000, January 2008, and things just seemed to stay on that mode of going uphill, not down. At the end of 2008 then, uh, I was drunk in the centre of the car on a new, on a new year, and uh, I just met a woman who started to talk to me about Jesus. It just stemmed from there, things just started to turn around. And uh, I just asked if I could go to church with her. I went to Highfields Church in Cardiff. I felt this urge to seek and asking. I was urging, having that urge to ask people different things. There was so much encouragement. And uh, I was collared in Highfields by somebody who was um, to play a very significant part in uh, before I actually uh, became a Christian. And uh, Alan Knight, and Alan actually, unknown to me, uh, was getting into all Bible studies to pray for me. I didn't know nothing about prayer and everything started to move fast. I just started to meet people on the street. You know what I mean? People coming up to me on the street asking me various things and then displaying Christian track to me. You know what I mean? It meant something to me. It, these things just started to fall into place. So when I eventually started to take a real big interest in going to church and wanting to go to church, even when she couldn't go, I was going on my own. So I was really wanting to know something about Jesus. And I could feel the impact that Jesus was starting to make in my heart. I started to wake up, I started to pray to him, I started to realise that this is where I wanted to be, not the life I had before. But it was just a matter of when. And all of a sudden, one day I was doing a course up in the powerhouse in Lanedin, and I was talking to people about God, I was just openly talking to people, that, you know, exactly what I felt about God. And a guy came up to me on the tea break, he said, he, he said, I'm a Christian, he said. He said, Steve, he said, you want to do it now? He said, don't wait. The following morning at five o'clock, I gave my life to the Lord. I just said, Lord, I repent my sins to you. And I just went and, and gave my life to him. And I, I trusted him and wanted him to be my saviour. And, uh, and that's exactly what I realised then, what Jesus was about. As they say, the rest is history. On March the 21st, 2009, at five o'clock in the morning. And uh, that time and, and date really, really sticks out in my mind as my birthday. You know, the day that my life was, was saved and, and that uh, my journey with the Lord started. Um, I just got the Lord to thank for so much in my life and uh, the way that my life has changed. It's not been easy. And as, Christian, as a Christian, I find it difficult sometimes. You think of, of, of are you going back to your past, but the Lord drags you up out of that. He drags you away from it. He gives you that belief back in yourself. And uh, I just find that, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the Lord has saved me big time and all time because at the end of the day, um, without the Lord, I'd have nothing. I wouldn't be any, anything and anybody. And I'm glad I'm something for God and not other people. So the lady that I was talking to who brought me and, and was led by Jesus to me is now continuing the journey with Jesus with me as my wife.